Welcome back to episode four on the Superyard Engagement channel on Battery Check. And we have spoken about a big survey we have done. We have spoken about um, battery monitoring. In the last episode, we talked about the three do's and don'ts. And obviously we had to limit ourselves to the three do's and don'ts. And um, today I want to talk about batteries. This is the shortest topic that we're going to have, but this is just something that I found very interesting. It's like, what is the best battery? Oh. Yeah, I'll just go into it. By the way, this is Michael. Michael owns Hello. Battery Check, and he's an expert on this topic, so I'm, I'm taking the opportunity. What is the best battery? Yeah. Well, we don't have one battery which fits all scenarios. Okay. So That's there's, there's not the best. Well, the best from which angle or point of view? I don't know. Well, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, do you want to charge faster? Do you need more power? Do you need, I mean, the power longer? I mean, is it going to be here or there? So we have many types and sizes and factors of the, of the, of the batteries. So that's where we are. That's where we are. Okay, well that doesn't answer my question. I know, I'm sorry. I want all of it, all, all of the above plus more. Yes, I know. And I also want them, Not to, be, here. And I want them to be cheap. Uh, yeah, well, uh, you are trying to put all, all the things which are possible to, to put together, basically. Okay, but let's talk about like, okay, where's, where's batteries evolving to? Like, uh, what are they, what's happening? Are we gonna, is there new developments or are we stuck to what we have? Well, of course, there is a new development. There, there are a lot of types uh, of the new chemistries and, and different cathodes and anodes and portions which are in the in the in the labs right now but by the time they get to full production it takes time of course but uh, there was a Bloomberg article a couple of years ago and they mentioned that the technological uh, decision was done basically okay. for for the for the upcoming decade and in, and it was mainly it, it's mainly driven by the automotive industry. Yes. So lithium is the battery technology right now. That's, okay. I mean, for, I would say, the tr transition from internal combustion engines to, to, electric ve to electric vehicles. And I mean the vehicle, whatever is underwater, on water, yeah. uh, on the road, yeah. in Earth, or even in the, in, the, in the universe. So that could be a vehicle because it's moving. So it doesn't have to be on the road. It could be also a non-road vehicle. Okay. So various yeah. electric forklifts, AGVs, robots, that's also a vehicle. But uh, we know battery for, for, I would say, decades or centuries, lead yeah. acid. Yeah. It's still fantastic, it's here. It makes perfect sense from the technological point of view, but also from the price point yeah. to, to use it in, 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 in certain scenarios, very often in energy storage. So when you have a house and you have a PV panels on the roof and yeah. you have a energy storage, that, 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 could be, that could be lead acid, but also there is a big transition to, towards the, the, the lithium. Okay. And these two technologies are also kind of supported by, by EU yeah. as well that, hey, this is what we have. And we will see how, how life will go, what kind of technologies will emerge, whether they, they will be based on lithium or we will find a different raw material, hopefully not that scarce as, yeah. as lithium. And then, then, we, will then we will then use it. But I mean, so far, I mean, the decision was done because there yeah. was so much investment done for this transition yeah. and the money should come back and we have to, I mean, understand how to, how to live with it plus the charging, you know, infrastructure. So there are a lot of ways how to put it together. There are also technologies like fuel cells, yeah. which you can put into the vehicle, but still you need a battery. Yeah. So there are different, different movements, but for now, here we are. Lithium it is. Lithium is the, is the, is the I would say, the, the, the beauty queen of the, of, the, of, the, of the current century. So that's the standard, but also like lithium, like within yachting, there's a lot of, Talk about the lithium battery. I mean, like, the, like obviously, well, the fires and, and and things that happen through lithium. Uh, the issue with like, um, what do you do when a lithium battery catches fire? Mm -hmm. I believe that's a, that's a topic. Again, I'm not a specialist, and I'm not claiming to be a specialist. I'm just like I'm just read the articles, I read the news, and this is what I read. Mm -hmm. I know there's a few companies working towards that and trying to find solutions for that, but like. Um, and you will say like, yeah, don't wait until it happens, monitor it so it doesn't happen, right? That would be, that's what you would be saying. Um, well, if we're saying that lithium is here to stay, then the next topic I want to talk about with you 
is reliability and safety because of course there's, there's a variety of batteries can happen with every battery but lithium is a specific one what does that mean we can cover it probably in a in a in next video yeah, yeah but I, right. i would like to touch on the the lithium yes there are it. various lithium chemistries and types okay what some of them are more safe yeah. some of them are more dangerous i mean just to very to be very simplistic so you say dangerous do you say unstable what would you say you can use the both adjectives okay. depending on the on the angle on the angle of the yeah. of the of the discussion and again it depends on the scenario so there is a lithium ferrum phosphate yeah. which is basically safer yeah it's coming more to electric vehicles yes. because of the safety originally it, it used to be it used to be you know energy storage scenarios okay. like pv panels and energy storage before that there there was a, there was an nmc and nca they were more powerful or you can get the, the the energy faster out of it and also you can charge it faster but i mean they were more i would say using your analogy unstable let's put yeah. it this way and there might be lithium titanate oxide which is basically the best of the best with a lot of charging cycles with the very fast charging and discharging and 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 safe but expensive and with the uh, um, with the lower density of energy so basically you would need more batteries to have the same performance yeah. of the other ones so there are also different lithiums and again it depends what kind of scenario i mean you i mean you would like to undertake with with that battery in that specific device solution either it's a backup battery or it's a main battery powering mm -hmm. the engines or whatever that is so there there so it's not like lead acid and lithium but there are various types of the of the of the lithiums and this is also developing as well because different different materials are are, are tested on cathodes and anodes to to improve the mm -hmm. the performance and also the safety so we are a constant uh, work on progress i would say yes. but so far this is where we are because it's not enough just to have the battery which looks good on a, on a test yeah. on a test desk you want something which you can massively produce which could be cheap as well which will yeah. have the good parameters and 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 uh, and uh, could be available i agree so i mean for me i mean i'm sure most of you guys already know this watching this i didn't even know there was uh, different types of lithium around so for me that's new information probably for you guys it isn't um thank you for like well for basically telling me lithium is here to say and you and lead acid is also there still that's what big guys told us Yeah, well, if they, if they tell us, we believe it. And um, episode four, we're moving to the final episodes and uh, that will be coming out soon. And then we're going into reliability and safety. Thank you guys. Thank you, Michael, again. Thank you very and, much um, for being here. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.